So I just got the hose link. I uh, see a lot of guys, I um, guys and gals that I follow on YouTube that uh, recommend this. So we're going to give it a whirl. I got the 82 foot long hose, and it's in a uh, like a I don't know white color. I'll show you what it looks like. Anyway, I'm going to open it up and try to set it up today. Okay, so I got it out. So yeah, there is a handle here, and then you can grab it from under here and pull it up. So this is the um, this is the hose and the ball that's going to lock it in when it retracts. And then it comes with a uh, a leader hose that you can hook up to your outlet. And toss it outside. I think you can get longer ones if you need longer. So I may need longer. It depends where I mount it. We'll see. And it comes with a nozzle and the bracket, the mounting bracket with screws and wall anchors. So yeah, we put that template up on the wall, drill holes, pilot holes, and then uh, put those screws in, bolts probably. So let's go in the backyard and show you where I'm going to put it in. Okay, so according to the instructions, you need to, they recommend you uh, mount this at least 35 inches above the ground, up to five feet. So I think five feet would be way too tall. Um, the unit is about 16, 17 inches tall. So if I mount it about 36 inches right about here, and then I go up another 16 inches, it should be right about you know, uh, shoulder height for me. So that's good because in the winter, I'm going to take this, lift this thing up, which is great, and bring it into the garage or the shed. They do sell a cover for it. Um, probably don't need that for the for the summer here in New York. We're in zone 7A, but um, we'll see. You know, but definitely going to bring it in the winter as I do with all my other hoses, except my drip line that I left. Um, Actually, I left it all in the ground this year. I blew out the water, but I left the hoses there and no leaks first year. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, let me uh, mount this bracket and get going. Okay, so I figure I'm going to mount it on this post here. Um, the leader hose they give me is six and a half feet. I would have to put the, the hose link on this post and either over here or over here which I don't want because, you know, we, we have a walkway over here and usually I have these patio furniture right around here. So kind of cuts up room. So what I'm going to do is either order an extension leader hose from them because it has those quick connect. Um, these are pretty cool. Let me see if I can show you how it works. Impossible to do with one hand. Yeah, anyway, you twist this and it pops right off, so it's quick connect. But what I did was I have one of these garden hoses that, you know, expandable ones, because this is what I want to do. I want to put where my drip line is, right against the house, coming from my timer, right up against the house underneath here so nobody trips. And then it'll come up here, and then I could mount this, I can mount this baby right here, or here, but I think I'm gonna mount it here. Now it does swivel on here. There's a little post that goes on here and swivels. So I want to see how much it swivels. I doubt it would be a good idea to put it this way. I'll probably just put it right here. And you know, nobody goes underneath the steps. And this way I can pull the hose right out to the garden, to all the beds, even where I have the garlic in the corner and I have some squash all the way down by that blue tarp. And I can also water the garden back here. Where I don't have any drip lines, so I think that's the that's the plan. I think I'm going to mount it right here. So what I, they, they tell me to do is um, a three eighths inch drill bit to drill two inches into the post. So I marked off two inches here, and then I put some uh, blue painter tape there. So as I'm drilling it in, I'll stop right there. Drill four holes and get ready to mount the, the bracket.
as I usually do, I didn't use the template, which would have been a lot easier than holding this up and trying to get the marker into the holes. But anyway, I think the holes lined up pretty good. <laughs> now, we have to put these wall anchors in. Plastic anchors. Hammer those in. Got one started. I'll start the other ones and then we'll get them going. Extension for that one.
that's it. So it spins about 180 degrees. Should be fine. Hose is a little, a little, uh, it's like a plastic coating on here. And it looks like this was underneath the box. So I'm hoping that it's not going to leak. But they do guarantee this. I'm not sure how many months or days or years. So, uh, I have a problem, I guess I can call them up. Warranty, um, 24 month warranty from date of purchase. So that's a good deal. So anyway, that's the hose link. I'm gonna get the uh, nozzle hooked up and we'll give it a try. Not bad. All right, we got it hooked up. I got the hose going across there again. I'm gonna replace that either with one of their lines or I'll just buy, uh, you know, uh, I'll measure this, figure out how long it is. Probably about 12 feet, 15 feet maybe. Leader hose and we'll hook it up to this baby. Uh, it comes with a really nice nozzle, spray nozzle. It's got a lot of different you know, mist, vertical, flat, shower, cone, jet. Typical uh, settings, but the nice thing is it's got two shutoffs. So one's right here And then there's another one over here. So I guess if you use a different nozzle You can have a shut off there. Oops So if I turn this one on that one's off And then turn this baby on it Comes out nice. I like it. So I'm gonna extend this out now and let's see what we got Feels nice and smooth. Hopefully the bracket doesn't pull off. So let's see what we get over here. Yeah, it's great. I could water over here. I like to use the shower on these scallions here, right on the end. I have drip line over here. This is where I'm gonna plant corn, actually where I planted corn. It's coming up pretty nice over there, as you can see. And I planted okra over here. And I think I see some okra coming up, but I like to uh, give these scallions, I mean, uh, green onions on the end, a little bit of extra water. And then again, you know, have some, some window uh, beds on the shed. And I have my compost pile. I have the garlic over there. I got some melons and pumpkins on the other side of those that garlic that I can't uh, you know I have some drip in the garlic but it's not enough to uh, get the uh, pumpkins but I like to uh, also water my uh, compost pile sometimes and then I've got all the way like I said down by that um, blue tarp I have some some more uh, squash and pumpkins that I'm just experimenting with so this is gonna be nice I can uh, give extra water to the to the uh, grow bags when I need it. And like I said, probably won't use it that much because I have drip. And last year the drip did great, but there's a few spots where I can't use the drip, so it'll come in handy. So yeah, it's pretty nice. And let's see how it retracts. So you're supposed to give it a little tug and yeah, there it goes, nice. I wouldn't let it go, I'm definitely holding on to it. And it's got a ball on the end. Let's see how that works. Whoops. Twist it up. Eh, pretty nice. Hose link. I like it. When I'm not using it, I can put it out of the way so nobody's going to get hit. And again, I can turn it over here. Water those beds. Nice, I like it. So this is the 82 foot hose link. Here's the address you could order it from. Uh, they had a Mother's Day sale, I think it was like 20% off. And um, if you sign up for email, they give you $10 off the first uh, order. So it was pretty, uh, pretty reasonable price. They also give you a couple extra O-rings and washers somewhere. Oh, I put them in my pocket. So, extra O-rings and washers. 
kind of like like these quick this quick disconnect is really nice um, I would show you but let me see oh let me put this camera over here That a twist and it'd be nice if you turn the water off first <laughs> and uh, you line up these there's a notch here and a notch here line that up where is it right there give it a twist and it's on that's it so pretty neat hose link anyway talk to you later